ashamed former Liverpool FC physio who had oral sex with a woman in a porter cabin and sent her pictures of his penis can keep his job, a tribunal ruled today. Married Dad Liam Kershaw, 42, began an affair with the unnamed 29-year-old in 2014, the Huddersfield Daily Examiner reports. He was working for Liverpool FC at the time and is now working at Huddersfield Town, the Health and Care Professions Council heard. The pair had sex while up to 100 schoolboy players were using the academy facilities outside. Kershaw was caught with the woman when his colleague found the portable building locked and tried to gain entry. Liam Kershaw outside his misconduct hearing today Image Central News the relationship soured and she began shouting insults at him at the club, the tribunal heard. She also threatened to tell Kershaw's wife about the affair in series of nasty messages about his family. Kershaw admitted taking part in sexual activity on club premises on four occasions between February and September 2015 and sending an indecent picture from his work phone. Liam Kershaw at the FA Youth Cup match between Liverpool and Birmingham City image Liverpool FC he could have faced a ban but the HCPC panel today found his fitness to practice as a physio is not impaired. Kershaw said his new employers at Huddersfield Town were aware of the proceedings against him when they offered him the job. Panel Chair Penny Griffiths said in terms of the personal component the panel is of the view that the registrant has shown considerable remorse in relation to his failings. He has explained how he would respond differently if he found himself in a similar situation in the future. These issues did not affect his personal practice during the allegations or since. The registrant has advised that this was a huge lapse in judgment and was completely out of character. It was decided Kershaw's actions would NT affect his personal practice image photo to the panel chair found that the risk of repetition was minimal, and that Kershaw's fitness to practice was not impaired. Kershaw was employed by Liverpool as the under-18 lead physio in the academy's medical department between 2010 and 2016. Laura Ryan, for the HCPC, said Kershaw and the woman had engaged in sexual activity at his work four times. During 2015 this developed into a short-term sexual relationship, she said. In one incident a colleague found a locked treatment room in a porter cabin. As he pulled out his keys, the registrant appeared looking surprised and this lady was inside. At this time it is said that he sent a graphic photograph of himself on his work phone to her. He was working for Liverpool FC pictured at the time and is now at Huddersfield Town image Liverpool FC Kershaw initially swore blind he did not have sex with the woman, but later admitted sexual relations when confronted with a picture of his penis he had sent her. Any of the 100 young players on the side could have walked in on them when the sexual activity was taking place, the tribunal heard. Kershaw reported the woman to the club in March 2016 after she began shouting derogatory comments about him and his wife while at work and sent him abusive emails. She sent a message to Kershaw while he was away at an international tournament asking did you die on the plane, the hearing was told. Kershaw, who was the safeguarding officer at the academy, has a long association with Liverpool FC. He spent eight years as a community. Coach, had a four-year stint as a part-time physiotherapist and a further five-year spell working as a full-time physio for the academy. A player is tended to by physio Liam Kershaw when he worked at Liverpool FC image Nick Taylor Liverpool FC Kershaw studied sports science at Liverpool John Moores University and physiotherapy at the Manchester Metropolitan University before completing an MA at the University of Salford. While working at Southport and Ormskirk Hospital NHS Trust he began working at the club as a community coach in 2001. After working with Aintree University Hospital NHS Foundation Trust Kershaw was a part-time, then full-time physio at the academy. He left the post in 2016 to move to Huddersfield. Sue Sleeman, representing Kershaw, said the registrant acknowledged from the very outset he jeopardised, as he put it, his job, his career and his family by his conduct. The registrant has fully learned his lesson and there is no risk of repetition. The case involves sexual activity on a small number of occasions between consenting adults in private. Kershaw denied his capacity to work as a physio is impaired and said he knew what he was doing was wrong but felt flattered getting attention from someone who was younger than him. He explained if I am honest I didn't think it was a very good idea all the way through, it was something I got carried away with. I got distracted by someone giving me attention and being flirtatious. All along I knew it was wrong but I was drawn into it, it took me a while to come to my senses and put a stop to it. Someone was giving me more attention than I would normally receive and I was flattered by that. 
It is something I deeply regret, causing that embarrassment. He admitted there were times when he could not be sure if the door was locked when they were alone together during work hours. Kershaw said that the emails were getting worse and when he went abroad in September he received a text out of the blue from the woman asking if he had died on the plane. Kershaw said he told the club about the relationship because he could not see any other way out. I had to put an end to it, he said. There was a lot of abuse directed towards myself, verbal, written emails, and also towards my family. After nearly six months of unwanted contact from her I couldn't find another way to stop it other than to contact the club. I clearly made a big mistake, it is something I will regret for the rest of my life, what I did. I did something at work and I am married, I have got children. He said his relationship with the woman did not affect his ability as a physio and he still managed to put it to one side and attend matches and treat the players. Kershaw said he had learned not to give in to temptation and was more focused on his wife and family. He said he was lucky to still have them and just has to look at them to know he would never make the same mistake again.